Lactic acidosis occurs when the body produces too much lactic acid and cannot metabolize it quickly enough. The condition can be a medical emergency. The onset of lactic acidosis might be rapid and occur within minutes or hours, or gradual, happening over a period of days. The best way to treat lactic acidosis is to find out what has caused it. Lactic acidosis can occur in people whose kidneys are unable to get rid of excess acid. Even when not related to just a kidney condition, some people's bodies make too much lactic acid and are unable to balance it out. Lactic acidosis may develop in people with type 1 and 2 diabetes mellitus, especially if their diabetes is not well controlled. There have been reports of lactic acidosis in people who take metformin, which is a standard non-insulin medication for treating type 2 diabetes mellitus. However, the incidence is low, with equal to or less than 10 cases per 100,000 patient years of using the drug, according to a 2014 report in the journal Metabolism. The incidence of lactic acidosis is higher in people with diabetes who also have other conditions, such as congestive heart failure and kidney disease. For these people, lactic acidosis indicates a poor prognosis. One 2015 report highlighted the case of 49-year-old man with type 2 diabetes mellitus and congestive heart failure who arrived at an emergency department with difficulty breathing. Within a couple of hours, he developed severe metabolic acidosis with high lactate concentrations. The man probably had lactic acidosis upon arrival to the hospital, which then quickly escalated. The man's daily metformin prescription was changed to the maximum allowed a few weeks before his admission to hospital. Metformin was determined to be the potential cause of his lactic acidosis, taking into account his comorbid diseases, his health when he arrived at the hospital, and medication he was prescribed beforehand. In cases of people who are healthy, lactic acidosis can happen after strenuous physical exercise. In these cases, the condition is temporary and is the result of the body needing more oxygen to keep up with the amount of lactate building up in the blood. When this mismatch occurs during intense exercise, symptoms may include a burning feeling in the muscles, nausea, and weakness. There has been evidence connecting excessive alcohol consumption to a subtype of lactic acidosis called alcohol-associated lactic acidosis. A higher incidence of this type of lactic acidosis is linked to people who are critically ill, including those with sepsis, which is often a life-threatening complication of infection.